in the graphic we see that uh, this time it was uh, oh sorry only 60 ppm water we used for depletion uh, in this graphic it showed that uh, the depletion it was uh, quite similar and in conclusion we can say that in normal condition at uh, the uterine depleted water 104 uh, T4 ppm, all organisms have the normal tendency to accumulate uh, the uterium throughout the bioaccumulation process. At uh, Wister rats, bioaccumulation is higher in normal condition. It's higher because there, there are uh, order. And this fact suggests uh, that bioaccumulation is, of course, time dependent. In present uh, of uh, 30 ppm, uh, deuterium at water and 60 ppm deuterium water administered for 60 days on these rats. We end for 80 days at uh, chickens. We saw that uh, appear a stronger depletion at rats because uh, the depletion is also not only uh, uh, concentration dependent, uh, time dependent, but it's also uh, uh, it's uh, dependent by concentration, a height dependency. At both species, appears mild variation in deuterium concentration between specimens, perhaps of uh, behavioral and, and or a genotypic dependency. At uh, each specimen, we observe a very small variation in the deuterium concentration between different tissues, between different uh, samples, samples without any explanation of its of organ localization in body. So we can conclude that deuterium depletion it's a general process it is not it is not only in the blood or or located of the liver of some organ regarding that our uh, new antitumoral compounds we i will not insist up uh, of uh, reason of using deuterium depleted water because uh, it was uh, showed previous but Mr. Shomli and Mr. Yangso why it's better to use uh, uh, hydrogen and not deuterium. So we use uh, deuterium depleted water as solvent for transition metals, nickel, copper, and cobalt salts in order to decrease the deuterium content of uh, our new organometallic compounds. Um, we have uh, already um, done an uh, extended approach on these uh, studies. Uh, you can download it free from uh, in the Journal of Physics conference series. It's free, open, it's open source journal. And, um, our new synthesized naphthokinonic ligand. Actually, we start from um, uh, uh, two, uh, two, three substituted D chloro naphthokinone, and we obtain um, a two mercapto three nicotinamido one four nano naphthokinone. I have to say that uh, naphthokinones and quinones are um, both targeting at uh, topoisomerase type two alpha chain which is not only overexpressed in cancer, but it's also involved in uh, proliferative processes. Um, this is how it looks. Our compounds, the Menonecchio, 23 tumor captain 3 nicotinamide one 4 naphthokinone and the final products, um, the complex. Two, it's a symmetric molecule with a metallic uh, atom in the middle. With n a metal m atom, it can be nickel, copper, uh, and cobalt. Um, now we have uh, our studies. Uh, n now we pushed our studies uh, even more. We start to make immunoconjugates with uh, our um, 
uh, ligand because uh, this is uh, because bet between a um, sulfide real uh, um, radical it can be conjugated with uh, antibodies and farfab uh, fragments and uh, uh, on the other side we use this uh, com metal organometallic complex to obtain um, encapsulated uh, drugs uh, so that's it and thank you for your attention if you have questions The talk is open for questions. If there's no, uh, Gabor. I, I would like only just to confirm. So finally, you could find some a little bit higher deuterium level when you measured the the organism. Uh, higher. No. No. Okay. This is a little bit over 148 ppm. Okay. So this is not in normal idea. condition. Okay. This in is normal what I condition. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. The, okay. Thank you. Thank you.